good afternoon everybody thanks for tuning in to willow oak early afternoon getting a late start today had some running around to do this morning naturally took twice as long as i thought it would but we're back here on the farm gonna get started first thing we're gonna do is put up a temporary move the cows get them some water back there and get the cows moved but before we go through this gate right here let me show you something Now, if you watched my, a video a while back, you saw I was out here trimming my blueberries. And then right after, a couple days after that, we are out here trimming the mills in the low 80s. Short, short sleeve weather. A couple days later, front came through, dipped down to around freezing. Kind of worried about my blueberries. But as you can see, by looking at them right here, we have got a bumper crop that looks like coming along. They are really producing. They're loaded up pretty heavy. I think you can probably see that pretty good. But they are really, really loaded up. Look at this one right here. They're still green, ways to go. But man, we're gonna have the blueberries. It looks like nothing happens. So just wanted to show you that. This one right here, they're all doing great. Gonna have some blueberries this year. So okay, let's get on the Polaris, get through the gate right here. Get back there and let me show you what we got going on. Okay, you see the cows are right up there. We're going to come up here, open this gate right here. We'll pass it right here, a couple of acres in it. We're going to move them in here for a few days. And on the back line back there, there's an old barbed wire fence that's been there probably 150 years. It's been there a while, and that's all the pieces. So I'm going to run a little temporary strip electric fence down this back line right quick. And we're going to get the cows over in here. Okay, let's take a look at what we did. We ran a temporary right up through here. Now here's the old fence. That fence has been there forever was on some old wood posts and they rotted out and over the years different people have come back and added metal posts there's an old wood post right there but this is a property line there's a property pin right up there my cousin owns this property here and this is just an old fence that's been here forever so we've got a temporary up now we need to go get some water and some minerals for them but first, let's ride down here and take a look at the cows. All right, here are the cows. They're down here enjoying this fresh grass. They haven't been in here since last fall. Mama right here, number 10, she's starting to spring up a little bit. She's starting to make a little bag. We've got these five we're keeping right here. They're over here on fresh grass. As you can see, there's plenty of good grass in here for them to eat for a few days. So now we need to round up a water and get them watered and give them some minerals. Okay, well I think we got the cows set up. Got the water full. My oldest son and his family live right here, so the water is convenient. They can take care of them for a few days. But we've got the water. Just put in some minerals. Got some good uh Metals right there. And there's a good view of the mountain right there too, isn't it? So the cows are set. There they are up there, just a grazing, enjoying themselves. So now we're going to move on and try to put up a little fence for the goat. So let's go start on that. Now the plan is to start right here. Here's another gate going into the same lot where the cows are right there. Start right here and go to the corner of the lot up there where the goats stay at night we're gonna put up three strands up through here and then we'll have a lot down in here where the cows just came out of now i'll show you what we're going to do when we move the cows back in here we're going to subdivide this further with just one strand but the cow uh, the goats will be able to go in this whole cell right here then cell number two will be right here and number one will be up above it so that's where we're going to start so let's go up to the other end Okay, now what we're doing, 
I showed you right down there, we're gonna come off that post with a three wire fence across. Our cows are way back there. So we've got one pasture down there. We're gonna have a lot right here and a lot right here. And what I'm wanting to do is rotate the goats, keeping one for about two weeks, another for about two weeks, another for about two weeks. Try to keep them rotating and see if we can't help control the parasites some. So I'm getting one strand up here now. Gonna finish putting my post in. Pull two more strands of wire and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, well there you have it. We've got three strands down through here. Now I gotta get all the goats together, get that buck and get them separated. But we've got one lot here, one lot here, we'll do another three wire fence right down there, separate it. Then we'll have three, we'll keep them rotating and get on that project with the goats and the cows. So that's all we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go in and rest a little bit, see if we can find a little supper. Y'all have a good evening. Well, good morning. We're back out here at it again today. Gonna try to get this other section of temporary run. You saw where we've got our three strand run up there. Now we're gonna come off this corner right here and go right through there to the lot also. But I'm just gonna do a two strand because number one, I think it'll hold them. And number two, I don't think there's enough wire on that spool to do it three times. So we're gonna tie in right here and get started and I'll show you what's going on, get a little further along. Okay, here we go on this section of the fence. I told you I was gonna try a two strand to see if that'd work because I didn't know if I had enough on that reel to make three runs. Before was I wrong, I didn't even have enough to make two runs. I'll show you when I get down there. So we'll come up here and there's a gate that's closed right there that we'll use when they go in this section down through here. What I've done, I've hooked it to my fence here and know that is not directly to it. So it will not uh, short out. I gotta get another yellow handle put up top. So is this two strand gonna work? Don't know. Will they respect it? Guess we'll find out when we use it. If not, we'll have to come back and add the uh, third strand in here. But I ran out of cord. I'm gonna order another row because I'm not gonna need this section for another week or more. I have four reels. We'll use one right up here to do the three strand, one here, use another one over on the back side of where the cows are now. Then I've got one I'm using in the lower pasture where my bull is now. And I'm gonna tell you, I love this electric fence. Move it like you need it because it's always changing, you know, Springtime, grass is growing better. If it gets hot in a drought, that'll change your grazing situation. Wintertime, it changes. So you can take it up and move it around to set the situation you're in. How many, how many uh, cows you have, how many goats you have. So the more you can use this temporary fence and to move it around, the happier you're gonna be. Let's ride down here and I'll show you what we did. coming down through here I'm trying to decide I might raise that bottom that bottom wire up to the next one but I don't want to get too high I wish that wish that little clip was about halfway up work a little bit better so, so we'll see but these goats are pretty well used to the left left fence and won't fool with it they will respect it it's just the babies that have to learn what we're doing here's where we ran out right here so we we're short about one two three four five six seven sections of 12 yards each so we're gonna just order some more when it comes in We'll just finish it up. Now we're back here. Let's go take a look at the cows. 
Well, here are the cows back up here in the corner in the shade, just laying around chewing the cud. In the shade, got their bellies full. Y'all don't need to get up on my account now. Just came to look. There's that pretty little heifer there. A little heifer back there. 26, 34, number 10 there. She is making a bag. She's still a good ways out, but she is making a bag. Twenty six here should be bred, but she's no signs of showing yet. So uh, but we're going to be in the market for a new bull. As I said, hopefully we can find a good uh, South Pole bull to breed into. But I'm going to try to this Monday morning, if nothing happens, catch a bull up, get him to the sale. So if we're able to do that, I'll take you along and we'll see what a big bull's worth. Well, that's all we're going to do for now. Done all we can do. When our poly braid gets here, we'll finish up this little section of fence. And when we move these cows over, we'll take this uh, spool down here. So I give us one spool. When we get our bull and those couple cows in the back gone, give us another spool there. We have two spools to work with to rotate these cows with. We got the goats to working and rotating. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what these cows are doing. I'm going to go rest. So until next time, hope you have a great week.